Tuesday, July 9th, 2019, about 11.30 in the morning. I'm out here in Kentucky at the Three Springs Campground, staying here because I want to go to the Ark Encounter. Uh, but before I go out there, uh, out here at the camp office, there was something right outside that I thought I needed to turn the camera on for, and that is this little guy right here. This little guy is Samuel. And last year when my parents stayed here, he was 26 years old. Did not expect to see him here again. But he's still here. Still getting around fine. He's now 27. Now, according to uh, Google, Guinness Book World Records, oldest cat was in Texas, and she died at 38 years old. So Samuel here is not as close to the world's record as I thought. But still, that is very notable. Once there lived a creative soul just outside of Atlanta. He had a good job but never fit in. He had a big apartment, but it cost him a limb. So one day he packed it all up and threw it into storage, hit the open road, and became a traveling caricaturist. Now he lives in a camper and travels all the time. He works at fairs and festivals. For the price of a single click, you can join the ride. Also, don't forget to ring that bell icon. It is about 2.15 now, and I've made it to the Ark. Now, this place doesn't close until 9, so this time I have enough time to see everything that I want to. I've been here one other time and made a really nice vlog about it. If you haven't seen that yet, I'm going to link it down in the descriptions. If you come out here, do not think of this as a museum. Let me stress that. Don't think of this as a museum. This is an attraction. And just like a theme park or any other really popular attraction, there are going to be lines and there's a shuttle that takes you from a giant parking lot out here. It comes with a bus ride, comes with other rides around it that you can go see, and actually very reasonably priced restaurant as well over here, but we're not going to do that today. I'm not hungry enough for that. I really want to get in there and see this ark. As I'm going in, I'm actually passing by a few little bird menageries as well as some nice big towers like this one you see off in the distance over here that one is for zip lining <laughs> i uh i would like to do that if i've got enough time got the gopro official head headgear now maybe i can get video of it <laughs> getting closer reaching the, the rudder back end of the arc this is where the entrance begins. We're in luck. Sometimes the line winds back and forth all up and down these rails. It takes hours to get in. But I'm walking straight in this time. We also have to weave back and forth going up this way. Yeah, going straight in. Going into the entrance now. One of the first things right here at the entrance is a cutaway of the side, uh, a theory of how they believe they interlocked the planks. I'm going straight through all the enclosures exhibits right now. It's really cool. Oh wow, look at this. This was uh, Noah and his family making their sacrifice. After, uh, after the flood was over. Uh, we got the uh, moth enclosures right here. This was, or the lizard I should say. This was a theory that they came up with on how they could feed the reptiles. Having a breeding box for the moths and a tube they could open to l release them into the reptile, reptile canisters. You know, and they could just water them from the top. Water them from the top. Pouring it in through the burlap. I am now on deck three, and I'm just learning that this level that's above me is mostly, mostly just for storage and maintenance. Uh, it was completely closed off last year too, that's why I thought, giving it a year, been, uh, coming back here they would have an exhibit up there but not yet the exhibits that they do have they have elaborated on this this look at this spectacle here this is the the spine 
the very middle of the arc, looking down, you can just see these are um, tree trunks, giant tree trunks. We are going into something called living quarters. Living quarters. All right, we've got some kind of uh, like a indoor garden greenhouse thing going on here. At the end of deck two, well, first off, you get this really nice animatronic right here. Very pretty. Very smooth movement. Anyway, right next to that is the one and only door. Exit and entrance. One door. And when it was time for this door to close, it closed on its own. Well, God closed the door. Noah didn't close the store. God closed the store. That was his judgment on that generation. And uh, Noah couldn't open it at that point if he wanted to. I imagine you probably heard people scratching and banging on the door on the other side of the door as the floodwaters rose. But he couldn't do anything. Couldn't open it. Um, so, unlike that terrible Russell Crowe movie where they had stowaways crawling in and out of windows, not in the real arc. Real arc, there was one door, one judgment, one person that could close it, keep it closed, and then decide when it was ready to open again. This area right here is something I really wish I could have taken more time on last time, but it shows some of the inner workings, or theories of the inner workings of the arc. And so I'm going to go through this in a little more detail this time. Starting with right here, the rodents, the rodents cages. Very simple, bamboo, uh, then the clay jars with the uh, water system where they could just pour water in here. And all of the waste could drop out the sides and be collected down in, in the bottom. Made that very easy and convenient. Here is a, a demonstration of it. Here, you've got the watering and the food right there. And then off the side, all the waste dropping down. Uh, and then again, we get to the the lizard canisters, reptiles, just like I showed you before. The moths, we got the bats. Uh, okay, here's a, a way that they would collect the rainwater and drop that down to the larger mammals. There's a, a feeding chute right there for the elephants. You know, they had a hundred years to prepare for this, so I'm sure they had tons of food all stored up. Met a few more YouTubers out here. They wanted a shout out. This is... Uh, Panda Official. Molten the Gamer. Molten the Gamer and Panda Official. 20 subscribers so far. Does a lot of little fun skits with his friends. Gaming, gaming videos. And skits. And skits. And how many subscribers do you have? Like 240. 240. There you go. Which items and candy messages. These were the best of all the birds she tried. He's pretty loud. I can't really speak while he's talking. Um, but uh, that's that's Noah in his bookkeeping shop where he's uh, taking, you know, making sure everything's okay. The records. Here's here's uh, this, his scroll library. His bookkeeping here. Uh, and Noah himself was like what 600 years old, some 600 odd years old. And uh, people back in those days could live that long. So it makes you wonder what was the difference between before and after the flood. People after the flood lived at the most 120 years. Before the flood they could live six, seven hundred years. Okay, here's the woodworking shop. Uh, a lot of theories is that before the flood there was a protection, a dome of water over the earth that uh, protected people from the radiation of the sun and so they would age much slower. And that's how they could live to, to six, seven hundred years old. And uh, water, the water that covered the earth, it dropped down and left that, that giant dome over the earth, flooded it. And now we got our blazing hot summers and skin cancer, rapid aging.
and dying many times in our 80s now as a result. There is a really nice miniature cutaway of the art down here as well. So I'm going to give you guys a slow pan over, over this for full appreciation. On the ground floor right here at the spine of the arc is a few things they've just kind of added for more detail that is really cool to look at. We've got a nice lathe here and then you see this rope that just lays across the middle. Well, all the way at the end that attaches to this rope twister and uh, yeah just lots of period, as far as we know, period accurate workshop stuff. Um, not only there, but also as you go up, you start seeing them lining the sides of the, uh, of the arc as well. And that is pretty much it. I am now exiting through the gift shop. They've even got a fudge shop out here in their gift shop. And the smell. No shortage of food out here. <laughs> Between this vlog and the one I made about the Ark last year, that's pretty much all I can really give you guys as far as vlogs go. Uh, but there are exhibits in here that you would really have to experience in person. Um, they, there's a lot of things to read, a lot of plaques, a lot of more in-depth stuff that just would not work on a vlog, including the aftermath, uh, the Ice Age, uh, the Tower of Babel, they even have a whole display of uh, how the Bible traveled around the world through different translations. That kind of stuff wouldn't work on a vlog. You really, really need to see it in person. So I encourage you to please come out here. And the uh, Creation Museum that I did a few weeks ago, about a month ago now, it's the same people that uh, built and owned that museum also made this wonderful arc. So, year uh, annual pass that I bought has well paid for itself. The, uh, the one I think I'm gonna go for, of course, is the cheapest, uh, the tier one, which even being the cheapest in the first tier is five zip lines. So this is going to be awesome and uh, hopefully Got enough battery life in here. It might cut off somewhere in the middle. I'm gonna get you guys as much as I can though. About to start. They've got me all duded out here. Leather gloves and all. <laughs> Coming up on it now. So you guys can see this looks similar to the sky hike over in Stone Mountain. Only not as lame. Spiral staircase shot. Here we go. Well, uh, when I got done, the uh, GoPro was, of course, turned off. It was dead and turned off. So I don't know how much of that I caught. 
But I think I got enough for you guys to get the idea of just how awesome that was. Wow. <laughs> who would who would have guessed that something like the Ark would also have such an adventure that you could participate in right next to it? Fantastic. They also have a petting zoo. Anyway, if you guys have liked this, go ahead and hit the thumbs up like button. Leave something down in the comments. Subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to ring that bell icon so you'll start receiving notifications of all my future updates. And I look forward to seeing you in the next one.